In the capital of Argentina found one of the largest warehouses of art from the time of Hitler's Germany. The artefacts were found by Interpol officers during a search of the house of a collector from Buenos Aires. The discovery once again reminded us of the Nazi leaders who, after the defeat of fascism and the surrender of the Third Reich, were granted asylum in Argentina. Argentine police found a warehouse full of Nazi artifacts. Apparently, the collection was the largest find of this kind in the history of the country. Meanwhile, works of art with fascist symbols are not uncommon in Argentina. After the Second World War, many high-ranking Nazis found refuge here, including Adolf Eichmann and Joseph Mengele. In total, more than 70 objects were found. Among the finds are Adolf Hitler, an eagle statuette with a stand decorated with a swastika, mark knives, an hourglass with Nazi symbols, expensive magnifying glasses and even a device for measuring the skull. All these items were found on June 8th in a secret room of the house of a collector from Buenos Aires, according to a court decision, he was searched by representatives of Interpol. Behind the bookshelves they found a hidden room. While it is impossible to exclude that the artifacts may be fakes, but the first examination suggests that the things are genuine. Most likely, they were brought to the country immediately after the war by one of the fugitive Nazis. It is significant that some of the items in the collection were accompanied by old photographs in which the artifacts are depicted next to major functionaries of the Nazi party, including Adolf Hitler himself. Argentine Security Minister Patricia Bullock told ABC News that this is an additional way to commercialize objects, proof of their authenticity. Such finds of Nazi works of art such as the bust of Hitler are quite rare, much more often in the field of view of the press fall items that are not related to the ideology of the Third Reich, and were stolen and hidden by those who took part in the looting of the occupied territories. For example, in May, a noticeable stir was caused by the results of an underwater research expedition in the Crimea, which managed to find the sunken off the coast of the Crimea steamer Boy Federson, on which the occupiers exported looted valuables from the peninsula. Loudly discussed and the story of the golden armored train of the Nazis, allegedly found in Poland. Later this information was information was not confirmed. As a rule, the Nazis were well aware of how questionable the value of their own propaganda products, and preferred to collect more traditional items of material art. Art historian and collector Sergei Podstanitsky told Darty about the situation with art objects that disappeared during the Second World War. Many valuable items, including works of art, were lost during the Second World War. Something was stolen and something was lost as a result of fighting. As for works of art, even catalogues of such things are published, and sometimes they can be found at auctions. Such things and I managed to find now they're in the Tsarskoi Selo Museum, where, in fact, they disappeared in 1941 to 1942. The most famous finds are often associated with some scan stories and controversial issues. For example, when the heirs of persons affected by the Holocaust, claim their rights to some works of art. Recently, there was a lawsuit of this kind regarding some of Klimt's works, the expert explained. As for the Argentine find, it is important not only and not so much the antique component. After all, this kind of product itself is not unique and German artifacts from the Second World War can be safely purchased in most countries of the world. However, the discovered collection attracted the attention of representatives of Jewish organizations in Argentina. According to the president of the DIA delegation of Argentine Jewish organizations, Ariel Cohen Sabano, the find represents indisputable evidence that Argentina harbored Nazi leaders for Argentines. 
for Argentina, a country that for much of the 20th century was ruled by conservative dictatorships, often loyal to the Hitler regime in Germany. The stories of Nazi refugees remain a kind of skeleton in the closet. It is only in recent decades that the Argentine authorities have begun to recognize that, with their connivance, People who committed crimes against humanity during the Second World War were hiding in the country. For example, after the 1960 kidnapping of one of the organizers of the Holocaust, Adolf Eichmann, who also found refuge here, Argentina officially complained to the UN and demanded the return of the Nazi criminal to the country's territory. The attitude of the Argentine authorities to this page of their own history began to change only in the mid-80s, after the fall of the regime, which a reorganization process it was one of the most brutal military dictatorships in Argentine history. It was only in 2000 that the president of Argentina, Fernando de la Rua, apologized to all the victims of the Holocaust for the fact that Argentina provided shelter to the Nazi. 